guys, you're watching Keat Straight Up, and I'm your host, Keatlin, and today we are not only going to make a spaghetti squash into delicious spaghetti, but we are going to actually stuff it with some amazing Italian ingredients. We are going to put into our spaghetti squash some delicious Italian sausage. We're going to put in parm cheese, mozzarella, we're going to have some fun Italian spices, garlic. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be a great weeknight dinner for you. You guys are going to love it, and it, it's honestly pretty easy and pretty healthy. Cooking spaghetti squash is actually really simple. It kind of looks a little intimidating because you have this really heavy kind of like football sized squash. I mean, it's super heavy, a little intimidating, but it's actually not that hard to cook. All you need to do is slice it in half. Once you got your spaghetti squash cut in half, you're gonna wanna completely scrape out the center of your squash. A little helpful hint that doesn't actually kind of picture well for me to do on the channel. It is really nice to do this right over the garbage can. It creates much less of a mess if you could just scrape it right into your garbage. So much better for you. Once they're nice and cleared out, we're gonna drizzle with a little olive oil, each one, and just add salt and pepper. I know it sounds really easy, and it is. So just a little bit of sea salt over top, and then a little bit of pepper. Once you got your oven preheated to 400 degrees, you're gonna take each side of these spaghetti squashes and put them face down onto your pan. We are then gonna cook them in a 400 degree oven for about 50 minutes to an hour. So once you have your spaghetti squash in a 400 degree oven, you have about 15 minutes to get your other ingredients ready. So I am gonna stuff my spaghetti squash with some really delicious Italian ingredients. Now, you could actually kind of experiment and do a couple different things and stuff your spaghetti squash with pretty much anything that you want to. But what I'm gonna show you today is a really easy recipe. So we are gonna start by browning some ground sausage on our stovetop. This is something that you can pick up at the food store, whether or not you wanna use a hot sausage or a mild sausage, it's up to you. But just pick up some ground sausage and begin to brown it stovetop. After that, we're gonna add a few simple ingredients once it's about halfway through cooking. First ingredient we're adding is some chopped white onion. After that, we're gonna add a little bit of a spice medley here. I just have some oregano and some parsley. After that, we're gonna add two cloves of garlic that we're gonna run through a garlic press. So just press them on out so they're nice and fine in your sausage mixture. A few ingredients after that, we're gonna add some extra fennel seeds just because I think it's really fun, full flavor. And then we are going to add a little bit of parm cheese and half of a can of tomato sauce. Once you got all of your ingredients stirred in, you're gonna allow your sausage to cook for a few more minutes so that it's fully cooked through. Then you're gonna let it simmer on low for about five to 10 minutes. When you switch your heat to low, some of the moisture will cook off. That is perfect because you don't want too much liquid going into your stuffed spaghetti squash. My spaghetti squash took about 50 minutes in a 400 degree oven and it is perfect and ready for me to kind of fork apart and make into some delicious spaghetti. So you're gonna wanna just flip them over like I did there and get rid of my mitts. If you cooked it long enough, you should be able to start scraping away at the sides and the entire squash should pull apart in some delicious spaghetti shaped spaghetti pieces. I don't know what you wanna call it, but you should be able to get that all nice and mixed up in here into some long strands of spaghetti squash. Once you have your delicious roasted spaghetti squash pulled apart to make your nice spaghetti base for the pasta dish we're gonna create, you're then gonna take your sausage that you prepared stovetop, this nice mixture, and just spoon it over your squash. So I like to just kind of put it in right on top. We're gonna cover it with some cheese, but I like to put it in first. Now, if you didn't notice as you were cooking this, the flavors of this sausage mixture cooked together to be absolutely freaking delicious. That sauce kind of mixed together with your sausage. We have onion, we got garlic, we got some additional fennel seeds. I mean, this is really such a good little mix here. It's gonna be delicious in this dish. So I like to think of this dish kind of as an amazing spaghetti squash bolognese. The flavors are gonna be so fantastic. I just top it off just to keep it healthy. I'm gonna do a little bit of mozzarella. I'm not gonna go crazy, I'm not gonna load it up, but I mean, come on, you need a little bit of cheese. I mean, I think a little cheese is good for you anyway. But you could feel free to leave the cheese off. I like just a little bit of mozzarella on each of my squash. 
Then these are going into your oven. You are gonna put broil them on high for four to five minutes. Not a lot of time, don't get sidetracked and leave. They will burn four to five minutes in your broiler. And after that three to five minutes, they are done. They look awesome and it is time to dig in. Look how awesome this looks. You have your cheese, it's so gooey. You have your spaghetti squash, it looks so good. It might be a little hot, but I think I'm gonna try it. Oh my God, you guys are gonna love this one. It's really, really good. I love this recipe. I am so happy to share it with you. Thank you for tuning in to Kate Straight Up. I hope to see you next Tuesday, sometimes on Thursdays and Sundays in between. Make sure to include your requests below if you have any questions, comments, whatever. Do that as well. Find me on Instagram, Twitter, and I can't wait to see you next time. Bye-bye, guys.